Lightning Michigan back at you with another G Brothers review. I'm Nico Little Bro, and I'm on my hunt, my quest, my mission to find the best beer in Michigan. You already know how it works, right? So today we are traveling to Wisconsin. We're traveling to Wisconsin. Um, yeah. All right. We're traveling to Chippewa Falls. So we're traveling to Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. I'll put it down here, right? Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. And we're trying out... Um, Line and Cougars Summer Shandy. All right, real quick. Line and Cougars Summer Shandy. Now, I really like this beer. I really like this beer. It's a nice lemon refreshing taste. I haven't had it in a long time, but I definitely have it all the time. So I, I'm going to know the flavor of this. I just wanted to give it its stamp of approval. Um, and this beer is brewed in Jacob. Sorry about that. Jacob Line and Cougar Brewing Company. So Jacob Line and Cougar Brewing Company right here, right? Uh, if you're in Wisconsin, the area, visit them. Go see what they're like. Cool story about this company. So basically, Jacob migrated to Wisconsin, to Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin, from Germany in, I think, 1845. In 18, and he was a... Uh, forgot what he was. I was reading the whole history about it because it's actually crazy because I like a lot of Line and Cougar beers. They were bought out by Miller... I think in 1998, not sure, but again, it's still the family. If you read the history, the family still runs that section of uh, Miller's company, the Line and Cougar. So it's his kids now, for generations have ran it. Um, but he came over, he made a bunch of beer uh, with diff different, I guess you know, whatever different flavors and everything like that, and they were awesome. And he passed it down to his kids and his kids and his kids and his kids. And then in 1998 or 1988, one of the two, the Miller Company came in and bought them out. But basically kept the family on onto us uh, on salary and was like, here, you guys run it. Just make us money like you guys were usually doing. But anyways, so you know how this works. Line and Cougar, I love this company. I smell for the fanciest, pop it open, drink it out the bottle, pour it in my Czech Republic Bohemian glass, set out to the checks, and that will give you guys a score. If you haven't tried this beer out, please go try it. Leave your ratings in the comments down below. Also, oh, this is we don't need the cap gun for this one. Also, remember, visit my homeboy, Nick Scheffler. Uh, graphic designs, whatever you need, he does it for you. After he gives you a price, you say, yeah, but I know Nico, little bro, and he'll give you 20% off and he'll slash it. It smells like summer. It smells such like summer, man. Oh, Elon Musk didn't uh, buy Twitter. He's backing down. Fuck, this is good. Again, you can't have a lot of these. Like I, I don't, I'm not drinking a six pack of these. But <clears throat> this is a rotation beer for the summer. I don't know about drinking this in the fall or the winter. I don't think this flavor is gonna go good because it does have that lemony, not heavy lemon, right? It's not like you get some of those beers that have that fake lemon taste, like they almost tried too hard to put fucking sour heads in there uh, or lemon heads. This has a nice refreshing lemon lemon taste to it at the end. It's very refreshing. The beer, it goes down smooth. As soon as you drink it, that flavor hits you, but it's not an amazing punch to where it tastes kind of fake and fruity. It's a good light punch to it, but a nice one. I really like the beer. But this is what I was about to say. So Elon Musk didn't buy Twitter. He backed out. Oh, no. Who would have ever thought Elon Musk was not really going to buy Twitter? Fucking idiots. Um, let's see the head test on it. I love how Elon Musk became like the uh, the hero for everybody on the right. Pendulum of politics, whatever. Because he's going to buy Twitter free speech, man. No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. He wanted fucking attention, and that's all he wanted to do. Now I heard Twitter's forcing him. They're going to assume to force him to buy. Here's my opinion. God, this is good. Kind of creamy, too. It was a good head test, but, you know, um, this is what I think is going to happen. So, Twitter wants to force them to buy it. Now, you're Elon Musk. You showed your balls, right? You were like, hey, I don't care. $44 billion, way more than what the company's worth. The company was nowhere near worth $44 billion. But you put your, your nuts on the table and said, I don't care. I'll overpay because this means so much to me. And you did that, right? Then you put an investigation about their bots and you found out 30% of the uh, users on the platform are actually bots, right? And now you're like, well, you know, let's cut down the price. Listen, 
Twitter's a bad investment. Twitter is a money pit. It's not a good investment. No one should buy it. But if you're talking all that cash money shit, right? Oh, I don't care about this. I don't care about that. I'm buying it. Free speech. Who wants a play button? Who wants this? You were giving shit away like Oprah did, right? So at that point, bro, you can't. Don't look like a bitch. You got to buy it now. Right? You're backing down. It's going to be funny if they force you to buy it. It's going to be fucking hilarious. Anyways, you're funny to follow on Twitter. But Line of Cougars, Summer Shandy. Oh, uh, alcohol by volume. I'm sorry, guys. It's late. Um, 4.2 alcohol by volume. It's a great beer. I have nothing bad to say about this beer. I love this beer. It's going to seem kind of high. Most people would put this beer who are into those like seasonal beers. They're going to put this in like... In the seven seven two eight two range, that's where they're gonna put it. I like it too much to do that. To be honest with you guys, this is gonna be a solid eight point five. Woo! I'm going eight point five. I love it. Love this beer. Shout out to the Wisconsin so far. I think this is the first Wisconsin beer we've done on the show. So Wisconsin, you're up there, definitely. You know, Chicago some terrible beers. I mean, I think we had one good beer, but the rest were terrible from Chicago. Detroit, you're 50, 50 Michigan's 50, 50 right now on beers. Wisconsin so far, you're one and out. Now I'm going to be getting the variety pack that coming out with this summer, or I think the one in the fall. And we're going to go through that variety pack. Anyways, guys, until next time, stay safe. Have a great summer. I hope your summer's going great. Fantasy footballers. What's going on? Some crazy stuff's been happening in football. It's affecting a lot of fantasy football trades. I just finished a 16-team uh, dynasty draft, 30-man roster. Um, quarterback, two running backs, three receivers, two flex, a tight end, and a defense. And it's crazy. But anyways, it is what it is, guys. Stay safe. See you till next time, all right?